Welcome back, my family. This is Spruce and Studs, and today we are going to be delving into the ruinous powers of chaos yet again. I have definitely succumbed to the siren song that is chaos, you know, the sweet whispers of Sanesh, the calls to power from Korn, as well as the wiles of Zinch, and finally, the corrupting powers of Nurgle. So today we're going to be reviewing a chaos space marine, specifically a Havoc Space Marine that's wielding my favorite heavy weapon, which is the Laz Cannon. I'm pretty excited to see what exactly Joy Toy has to offer with this particular action figure. However, I already know that there's always going to be some sort of quality control issues, whether it be mispaintings and stuff, so fully expect me to point those out during the video. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. All right, in front of you is the Chaos Havoc Space Marine with the old school LAS cannon. And sorry about the glare. Let's get to the unboxing already, shall we? Boxing now. Opening the drop. All right, in front of you is the Havoc Space Marine in its full 100% glory. So let's just take a look at the business end of what's going on, which is the LAS Cannon. I love the old school LAS Cannon where it's actually slung over the shoulder rather than the modern ones where the Space Marine actually needs to wield with two hands. So let's take a peek at the painting of this. Right off the bat, you can see that there's an overspray of the copper onto the black. And then there are some actually light highlights that you can see that are going on over here, which again is nice that you have some differentiation between the black, because black obviously is a very neutral color. You need some sort of gray or white to make it pop out a little bit more. Now going over to this middle of the barrel of the last cannon, you can see that there also is some mist spraying over here. I wish that this silver section was a little bit more silver. As you can tell, this is more black than the rest of this portion over here. But finally, when the barrel goes out, it actually evens out where you have lots of silver mixed with black. So this part really looks good in my opinion. This needs a little bit more work. Now going to the barrel of the last cannon, you can tell that there are some issues here where the painting was not enough. Obviously these are teeth and it would have been nice if the white or ivory portion of this tooth would actually be more over here because you can tell that there's some black unfortunately and it needs to cover this area. And then let's flip this last cannon around, take a look at the barrel. I don't see any issues here. And then if you look at the other side of the last cannon. Everything is the same as the other side. Let's take a look at the backpack itself, or, which powers the last cannon. You get some very half-hearted dry brushing that's going on over here, which again is okay in my opinion. I suppose that you could probably make an excuse that this is chaos -y and this is how it's supposed to look after, you know, 10,000 years in the warp. And with regards to this tubing, I actually think this tubing is actually pretty cool. It's almost got like this weird like tyranids -y kind of look as if, well, it's been warped by chaos. I like the touch over here. And this tubing is actually uh, very flexible. And you can see this fan area has some light highlights, which is a good touch. And then if you want to look over here, there is a lot of overspray from the copper onto the black, which doesn't really look that great in my opinion. And then you also have oversprays over here. I would have to say overall, this looks pretty good to me and 100% to Joy Toy's uh, <laughs> current quality standards. Obviously, I think that there should be some quality improvement with regards to the painting, but this is, in my opinion, pretty much on par with the rest of the offerings that Joy Toy currently has. So that's it for the last cannon. Let's take a look at the Havoc himself. And the first thing we're going to take a look at is the helmet. And the helmet has some, you know, issues that you would normally expect from Joy Toy. Um, I really wish that this red area would have been undercoated with silver and then overcoated with a light coat of red so it would look like a lens same thing over here i wish this actually would look like a lens too 
Um, you do have some painting issues with the black over here going on to the red and this lens looks pretty uneven to me and then looking at the rest of the helmet you have also some half-hearted highlighting going on here but as you're going to hear me say over and over again this is pretty much on par with what you would expect from a joy toy action figure you're not going to get perfect painting you are going to get issues and defects that's one thing that's guaranteed so looking at the black lesion iconography it looks actually fairly decent to me and again there are issues that i have to point out to you just so that you will know so this ivory part for the tooth looks like it doesn't extend all the way to the base of the tooth there is black over here and that actually is the same with every single one of these teeth that you see looks like they were only able to paint the tops of this area and that's pretty much it and looking at the shoulder pad here it looks like there is some kind of mispainting or misspray that's going on which isn't that great but again let's just say that it can be attributed to the warp with all these issues and defects that were probably not purposefully done i think it just goes well with the whole entire overall look of this chaos space marine and then you have this iconography on this other pauldron which again is very crisp and very clean i think this has been like pre-printed or stenciled on either way this looks great and looking at the chest area you get the skull region over here it looks like it has been a base coated of some kind of bone type of color the same bone color that you see here and then you get some shading obviously which is a nice thing that joy toy always does and then looking further down with the pipes there's pretty much the same you get some half-hearted dry brushing going on not a big deal but i'll have to say the biggest thing that jumps out at me is this chain over here this chain also is very extremely half-hearted in terms of painting and dry brushing these links are obviously are supposed to be silver but it looks like they only dry brushed the top of this part so they didn't actually get the whole entire link unfortunately same thing with this chain mail down here while it looks like it's okay on camera there are some issues down here where the highlighting thing is not even there's some issues down here with the skulls where the ivory needs to be covering a little bit more of the black then you have some highlights interspersed throughout the whole entire action figure you got some highlights going on with the hand as well as the forearm the elbow pieces here are roughly highlighted i would rather have them here than not all right let's take a look at the leg region you do have wow okay this is pretty significant bleed from the brass onto the black on this side let's see on the other side if that's the case it's a little less significant but there is also some there's so a pretty large mold line over here as you can tell then let's take a look at the feet of the space marine it's actually pretty cool that they used claws for feet it further differentiate these from their loyalist brethren this is a really nice touch i like this a lot i kind of feel like this part should have been like an ivory type of color like this tooth up here but looks like it is not you also do have some mist paintings over here with the brass onto the black again all right let's take a look at the articulation of this so you're gonna have 300 hopefully 360 degree rotation oh so whoops it is a little bit hard to rotate around and then around the elbow joint is going to be a 90 degree rotation and then you are able to push the arms out probably like i would estimate like 45 50 something degrees out and as you can see here the pauldron fell off and is actually attached by a ball and socket mechanism so this is the ball and then you just place it in the socket and it just fits right in and it attaches right back so no harm no foul the Space Marine has 360 degree rotation over here at the torso and the rotation was really smooth and did not have any issues. With regards to the legs, you have roughly a 180 degree rotation, maybe a little bit more, which is nice to have this degree of motion for maximum posability. 
and the knee part, you have roughly 90 degrees of rotation up here. So overall, the articulation is what you would expect from a Joy Toy action figure. All right, so finally, let's give this Havoc Space Marine its armament to kill the Emperor. Do you just attach this backpack by this peg mechanism over here? Actually, I didn't actually even know that this LAS cannon, it was able to pivot. So apparently, as you can hear, it squeaks a little bit, but you can pivot. Nice. And there you go. You have a fully kitted out Havoc LAS cannon Space Marine. So that's it for the review. Let me close out with my final thoughts. So if you have been watching my videos, you have come to notice that a lot of the Joy Toy action figures come with a lot of painting defects. And this, fortunately or unfortunately, does not escape those same defects. You are going to get plenty of painting issues with Joy Toy action figures. And it's something that you're going to have to live with and know going in when you're trying to invest in these action figures. They're not going to be perfect by any means shape, way, sort, or form. With all the issues and defects with the painting, is it really worth the $65 to $75 for this action figure? I'm going to leave that up to you, the discerning consumer, whether this is worth your money or not. I have told you that there are going to be defects, and I want you to have complete disclosure going in that this is not going to be a perfectly painted action figure by any means. But what I can guarantee you're going to get is an extremely accurate action figure. I really, really like all this different iconography over here that is 100% chaos. You get a lot of character with the different spikes over here. You get the teeth as well there's these feet that are claws is a really cool touch you're never going to find this kind of character on a loyalist space marine and that's what i really like about these black legion action figures i would have to say this is perfectly imperfect this completely embodies a chaos space marine 100 percent and it is very true to accurate to form and that's what i like it defects aside. So I hope you enjoy this review video. There's going to be a lot more review videos coming up. There's a ton of things coming out from Joy Toy as usual. So the review train will go on. So this is Spruce and Studs and I'll see you all in the next one.